This is the paper. It's a North County community publication, about 20,000 distributed weekly. In response to a reader tip, we started looking at the text that appears under the byline of editor and publisher Lyle E. Davis. It turns out in several instances the articles were cut and pasted word after word, paragraph after paragraph, from postings on the internet. Here's an example from July 17th, a story about horse sculptures. I'm going to read you some text from the paper. Every word of this comes directly from Britain's Daily Mail. Quote, each of the three sculptures stands at around six feet tall, or 16 hands as horse lovers might say, and is made from roughly 400 pieces of driftwood of varying sizes built around a stainless steel skeleton. Each horse weighs around half a ton and can take the weight of five people. Duran Webb made all three with movable limbs and neck so they can be arranged into lifelike poses as these stunning photographs show. End quote, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, I could go on. We asked Davis about it. He said his cutting and pasting without credit isn't plagiarism. He sees it more as an anthology. But we did an unscientific online poll and 92% of our readers were not comfortable with what the paper is doing. For The Watchdog, I'm Ricky Young, UTTV.